Hi, everybody. Welcome to the old WGN Courtesy Desk. My name's Paul. Little segment here where we answer your text message questions. Here's uh, number one. It says, sometimes when I listen carefully, I can hear what sounds like frantic or angry typing in the background of your newscast. Is that the angry news writers that I'm hearing? <laughs> I don't think so, right? No, 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 the microphone's not out there, it's in here. Yeah, so who's typing? That, that's you and Robin? Yeah. yeah. And is it frantic or angry or both? And who are you typing to? Uh, both. We're usually uh, talking about you behind your back, I, typing I, messages to the executive yeah. producer. <laughs> Trying to find a way to shorten up yes. my time and get Please me off the show. tell him to wrap it up. All right. Uh, next question. Who has the toughest job at WGN TV? Oh. Outside of me. I think the assignment editors have the toughest job. It's a thankless job. That's where you have to figure, you know, filter through all the stuff, decide where the crews go out. Very stressful. If you miss yeah, a story maybe there. So. I'm going with our executive producer, Aline Cox. Yeah, that's I think she's not got, easy like, either. The hardest and the worst job. Not that. Or just I think the show the producers. Yeah, it could be worse. It could night. be the executive producer over at Channel 5. Right. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> she's just terrible. All right. I uh, hear. Here, here's another one. It says, Paul, a month ago you talked about the Bradley Place Wizard or the WGM Wizard. Oh, yeah. Have they caught the Wizard yet? Yeah. Any suspects being questioned? So, backstory on this, and again, I'm not sure that I'm supposed to be talking about this, but we've had a problem where someone's had extremely bad aim uh, in the uh, bathrooms. Uh, and, and they, they put up signs. The regional HR manager for Nextdoor at a <laughs> It's like, hey, keep your eyes open. If anyone's got any information, let us know. Well, listen, I don't know about in the ladies' room, but the sign's still up in the men's room and huh. uh, in a couple of them. So my, it's my understanding nobody has been caught. I don't know if anybody has Ooh, been who caught. Who is your guess? If you were going to accuse somebody yeah, specifically, what? who would it be? <laughs> on, on, on air, let's say. Well, on air? Oh. Uh, probably Patrick Elwood. Uh, <laughs> You know, he uh, seems like a nice guy, but I think that there's guys like him that have a dark side. Yeah. You know? They are happy, everyone loves them, but underneath there's always something going on there. So I'm going to go with him. Larry, who would you go with? Stop it. Boy, I, you know. It's hard, right? Are you with me on Patrick? I, I don't know this Ray Cortapassi guy at night. Yeah. I don't know him well enough, yeah. and it's always easy to blame the new guy. Right, right. But you're going to blame the new guy. Yeah. I'll, I'll blame him. Yeah, all right. And Robin, you want to take a stab? No. Mike and Mater? No. no. It's, and this is, uh, yeah, I don't, I know nothing all about right. this. Well, yeah. and well, I like my job, so yeah. you morons can well, speculate about whatever you want to do. Again, it's just speculating, right, based right. on educated guesses. Has uh, but, management uh, told you they like when you talk about no, this? No, I'm quite <laughs> sure that I'm going to finally get the memo uh, today, because the last time I brought it up, they came into the uh, studio, but they were too late. Uh, and <laughs> You're already in your car down the Edens. <laughs> So okay. I'll keep you posted, hey, though. you're doing the work of the people. Yeah, people want to know. I appreciate that this guy was paying attention enough. <laughs> All right.